So we're going to pick a point for the base of our armature. I'll pick a point somewhere in the middle here. And then we're going to translate our coordinate system to this point so that everything is relative to the frame of reference of the base of our armature. And I'm calling it an armature, but it could be an arm or a leg or even like a torso or tail or something. So next we're going to pick a distance that we want the target to be from the base of the armature. And then, since the lengths of our arm are equal, we have this isosceles triangle. Now if we wanted to draw this point here, if we wanted the x and the y coordinates of this point, we know that the x coordinate is going to be d divided by 2, because it's right in the middle between the two points, and the y coordinate is going to be the height. So we can use this right triangle to solve for h in terms of the length and the distance to the target. So we get h equals the square root of l squared minus d over 2 squared. Now that we have h in terms of d, we can move d around. l remains constant. And all we're doing is drawing an isosceles triangle, but it really does start to look like an arm doing inverse kinematics. If you make these little rectangles and give it a sort of pseudo hand, it really starts to sell it. And you could even, instead of drawing rectangles, you could draw images. And then it really starts to look pretty good. So that's inverse kinematics using a little cheat method of doing an isosceles triangle instead of doing all that crazy trigonometry. Thanks for watching.